So, I, uh, yeah, I don't have any kids, and then uh, it's fucking terrifying. My, my, a lot of my gay friends are adopting. It's really funny, like, if you are a parent, if you're not a parent and your friends have kids, their lives, like, you see how their lives completely fucking tank. Has anybody seen, like, people just fold in on themselves, like, terrible origami of doom, just, they fall apart. Like, you have a girlfriend who, like, always looked awesome, and she, her shit was always done, and everything always matched. This was a bitch who never had underwear that didn't match her bra on. You just knew, you know, there was no granny panties in her world, and then, like, one day you invite her to lunch, and she's like, ha, 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 ha. She got, like, one shoe on. I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm, I'm dying, I'm dying. Do you smell like pee? Yeah, somebody peed on me. I have no idea. The baby, my husband, a hobo. I have no idea. There's so much urine, I can't tell it apart. But you will never see a gay parent with any kind of pee or vibe. Gay parents don't do that. Like my gay friends, they, they, they are so excited to adopt a kid. It's just somebody else to coordinate outfits with. They're so fucking excited. <laughs> And, uh, and I, had, I had friends who were adopting, and it's very different. Like, if you are picky about the baby that you want, like, if you want a white baby, that's kind of, you know, they're, they're hard. They're like Priuses. That's a fucking hard thing to get. You know what I mean? You got to sign up, make a deposit. Um, my friend had to, like, it was, like, two years. She had to go to Russia and, like, meet the baby and, like, shake the baby's hand and play cards with the fucking baby and go home, right? Baby, I love you so much, baby. I let you play Xbox, baby. Finally, two years later, she gets this baby. I have uh, some other gay friends, and they were like, we don't care, we're gonna love whatever baby we get. And they applied on a Friday, and on a Sunday, they were like, we got a brown baby, come get the brown baby right now. It's two for one brown baby night. Come get the baby before we put the baby outside. I don't, I don't make the news, I just report it, quite honestly. This is just, oh, there's racism. Wow, did you just learn that? Okay. Um, I have to go, I'm sure of it. Uh, what am I gonna say before I go? Oh. Just that uh, I, I'm afraid, Mason, the other reason I'm afraid of having kids is because my sister and I fought a lot. I don't know if anybody else had like kind of like a, like a war of, of escalation going on in their home as a child. Like my sister and I didn't fight kind of like cute, like give me my, my doll. We were like, I'll fucking cut you in the night, bitch. Anybody else have that kind of relationship with their sibling? And uh, I'm so afraid my, my sister and my kids would fight like that. And uh, I'm not even really over it because eh, black people really go to therapy. That's not our thing. I mean, I'm not saying we all don't go to therapy. You know, I'm sure. Spike Lee goes to therapy, but, um, you know, rich guys, but, uh, but mainly it's like, you know, why go talk to a weird guy with, you know, elbow patches when you could get high, really, you know what I mean? It's just, you're bo both times you're on a couch, but with one there's chips. So I, I, don't, I haven't gone through therapy and I don't even think I'm through like all my shit with my sister. Like I took my sister's kids out the other day to the movies and I got them everything they wanted. Like I have two little beautiful nieces. I got them ice cream and red vines and popcorn and hot dogs. And I got the tiny one, a really huge Mountain Dew. She was like, hum, hum, hum. this soda make me feel funny. <laughs> I was like, wait till it kicks in. It's gonna be fucking awesome, kiddo. Let, let auntie put some Red Bull in that bitch, booyah. And then afterwards, I took the boat back to my sister's house and I picked them up by their feet on the front porch. And I'm like, I'm the I threw them in the front door. And uh, the first thing that my oldest niece said to my sister was, Mama, I don't feel so uh. I was like, <laughs> That's for peeing in my bunk bed when you were six, bitch. You guys were awesome. Have an awesome time tonight. Thank you so much for listening. Stick your finger in the hole.